Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you more about using Eclipse to uh, create JavaScripts for uh, for creating a new mod for Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. And <clears throat> this tutorial is not only going to cover Eclipse, but it's also going to cover um, the various files uh, you would typically use to create a custom mod um, as well as the process of getting that mod set up. Um, the first thing we want to do <clears throat> when we start to make uh, a mod for Vampire the Masquerade Redemption is we want to create a uh, we want to create a folder in the in the VTM our main directory and I'm going to call this folder my mod as an example and inside this folder I'm going to create another directory called Codex because our mod is going to have some custom scripts to it and in addition to custom scripts <clears throat> to be able to build new disciplines and effects and stuff for our mod we need to go into resource.nob and I'm going to open it with 7-zip and go into miscellaneous folder and there are one two, three, four, five, and six files. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these files and we're going to put them in my mod <coughs> miscellaneous folder. And when we go in there under miscellaneous, we want to make sure we uh, right click all these files and remove read only from them. <coughs> and all these files can be opened with notepad so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna open them all with notepad okay go back okay <coughs> okay so about each of these files start from the top and work my way down the game.ncd file when you open it up this this includes all the clans of the game and their uh, assigned icons as well as uh, they're beckoning um, creatures as well as shape-shifting forms. So, it, so you, this is where you'll find Bruja and Cappadocian, Gangrel, and all that, and <clears throat> and their various icons. Um, going down the line here, we have uh, we have flags, advantages, and weaknesses, and the first three disciplines first three disciplines that are assigned to that various clan <coughs> as well as uh, uh, stat caps um, take for example Nosferatu since this clan is naturally ugly its appearance will never go above zero so you'll, you won't be able to spend anything on the appearance stat and notice that the uh, for the Cappadocian clan, it's set to 25. So it goes SDR strength, dexterity, stamina, perception, intelligence, wits. Um, I suspect that's blood. <coughs> and this is blood pool. This is mana, and I suspect that's mana pool. And this is uh, this is a blood rating, I suspect. And this is a frenzy rating. So you got generation caps as well, faith caps, um, charisma, manipulation, and appearance. <clears throat> so you can set up all that when you create a clan in the game. So if if you wanted to create a new clan, this is where you would do it. Now for the flags here, <clears throat> there's only one flag. Um, if you add zero x one, it'll make it a not selectable in multiplayer. It essentially hides it from the multiplayer list. This is why uh, the vanilla game doesn't show Asimite, even though Asimite is still in the game, as well as Lazombra, Ravnus. Um, that's interesting. That set height is also hidden from the game, as well as Zemitsi. <coughs> and apparently, Asimite has absolutely no disciplines assigned to it. So that's uh, that's what the, the NCD file is about. 
Now let's move on to the next one. The NDD file covers disciplines. So when you go down here, you, this is where feed, blood healing, and all those other spells are, uh, and disciplines are, are defined. So the first thing you have is you have the name, of course, and then you have the group classification. So you got feed, and it's located in common. And where these group classifications are located, you would go into the NDG file, and this is where you get all of those uh, group classifications like common, animalism, and this is their, where their assigned icons are inputted, as well as their initial cost to learn. And these flags mainly relate to KITIF. So if you have a, a 0x1 flag on a, a discipline group, it will not be given to the KITIF um, clanless clan thing on on the uh, on the uh, NCD list. So if if you take for example, uh, here's the KITIF clan, and it has an advantage of the 0x1 flag, which says it gets all disciplines. Well, <clears throat> when you go into NDG. It also, it, 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 there's an exception to that. It's any discipline that has a 0x0 flag. So if it has a 0x1 flag, the KITIF won't get that, it, they, they won't get that, uh, that discipline ability group. So back to, back to the disciplines here. So we have the discipline group. We also have the icon, the way the uh, feed icon works. And there's, uh, there's three images related to um, the icons. Uh, so if you're building a custom icon for a discipline, <clears throat> I'll cover that later on. And this is the assigned script for that discipline. And this is the sound the discipline makes when it's su successfully cast. And for these flags here, the flags are actually uh, are up here. <clears throat> this is what the various flags will mean. So what else we got here? So now that I covered flags, we got type as well. So type, type is used for the AI. It tells the AI what kind of discipline this is. And then we got minimum distance. Um, I don't ever use that. It, that seems problematic. And then you got max distance, of which uh, you can cast the discipline um, within the range of the target. Usually that's used if you're casting on a target discipline. I, if you're ca if you have a discipline that's cast on self or area, I would stick with the 9999. And then there's this float data. I'm not entirely sure about that. And then this this cast over here. This is the animation type for the discipline cast. <coughs> so it's either there's a general, there's hands, there's thrown. There's like for fireballs or something, then you got spit for like um, plague wind, and then there's none. Essentially, that's like for feeding. Feeding that would be set to that would be set to type four none, and this is the cost of the discipline to acquire that discipline, and this here these. These are the various levels of which the discipline will cost. So at dot one, it'll cost five blood to cast blood healing. And as you notice, it doesn't really change as you increase the dot level. This is also the uh, recharge time. So when you cast a discipline, it'll take a second to be able to cast a discipline again. These are the uh, the requirements. And so if we're looking at this particular discipline here which is um, this is walk the abyss which is put in common this means it requires an intelligence of at least 25 and what's the other stat and it requires wits of at least 25 so it requires intelligence and wits of at least 25 to be able to buy walk the abyss and to cast walk the abyss so the, there that's uh that's what the NDD file represents